Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. When your shoulder is feeling sore and cranky and bleh, it might even make that noise to you. These are the three exercises that I do to help myself feel a heck of a lot better and hopefully you will too. Okay, starting with the first one first, which of course is better than starting with the second one first, where you do need a band, a relatively sturdy band if you can grab one, and something sturdy to hook it onto. So, I've already got my band attached. I've got the band in my left arm, it's my left shoulder, that's bothering me. So right leg is gonna go forward a little bit. From here, you're gonna do a gentle squeeze into those shoulder blades. It's not, uh, not, a, not a chest thrust, just a squeeze. And then I'm gonna add this little row in. So now I'm starting to activate some of the muscles that help support the shoulder. From here, I'm actually gonna rotate hey, towards you guys. And that activates these muscles in the back even more. And then as I come back to the center, I'm gonna let this shoulder reach and kind of punch forward. So I'm gonna do that again, because this one is a little bit, hmm, it's a mental one too, right? So it's squeeze gently and pull, rotate, activate those muscles that help support the shoulder. And then as you come back, make sure that you let that arm go and then punch, right? So you're still getting a little bit of resistance from that band helping to pull you back, which stretches the lat out, but it also works these muscles called the serratus anterior, which again are supporting muscles of the shoulder blade. And so this one, I actually do this one Hmm, probably multiple times a day, <laughs> even if my shoulder's not bothering me because I just finish it and I'm like, ah, yay. So you can do it on both sides, but obviously make sure to do it on the side the shoulder's bothering you. About 10 to 15 repetitions. Exercise two uses your same sturdy surface. We're gonna work through the joint and get a better stretch even still. So I'm gonna take my left hand, bring it right on my bar. You can use your counter, whatever you've got. I'm gonna place my right hand on top of that and then I'm gonna back my butt up here as I go. So I'm starting to stretch out through the lat, I'm getting a little distraction or a little pulling, right, from that shoulder, gentle. And then from here, I'm gonna take this right hand and I'm gonna press down. So now I'm actually mobilizing that away. So we're getting that joint surface to glide and move better. Back up as far as you can, that feels comfortable. And once you get here, you can play around. Does it feel good to shift your hips from side to side? Ooh, yeah, that way. And then you can play around with kind of pressing one arm down. For me, it's this way. That feels super yummy. And I might just hang out here for the rest of the day. Just kidding. But hold it here for about three to five breaths. For our third one, you're gonna stand against the wall with your back against the wall. I'm gonna bring my arms up like goalposts, <laughs> sort of. And I'm gonna bring those arms up. Again, gentle squeeze in through the shoulder blades. I'm raising my arms as high as I can without them whoop, coming way away from the wall which right now is about here. And then it's a gentle squeeze back down. And this one is awesome because now we're working on the range of motion in through that shoulder and arm. We're actually working in through the neck a little bit and in through the middle of that spine. You might notice that like me, you get some snap, crackle and pop. And then by the time you're done, when you bring your arms away from the wall after about 10 repetitions, you should feel like you could do the little staying alive thing without any problem or pain.